Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner with over 13 years nursing experience, working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm perinatal mental health certified and maternal newborn nursing certified. Heartburn is one of the most common complaints during pregnancy. Today we'll be exploring everything you need to know about heartburn and acid reflux during your pregnancy and how to treat it. So click those like and subscribe buttons and stay with us. Let's start with some terms. What is heartburn? Heartburn is the burning pain you feel in your chest near your heart. Now, there's two other terms that we sometimes use to describe this medical condition. The first is acid reflux. So acid reflux is where the stomach acid comes up through the esophagus from the stomach. This happens because there's a little sphincter or a tiny kind of valve at the bottom of your esophagus where it meets the stomach. Normally, that valve stays kind of tight, but during pregnancy, some of our hormones makes it looser, allowing the stomach acid or food to come up. Finally, there's gastroesophageal acid reflux disease, or GERD, which is the more serious version of acid reflux and heartburn, and it requires a stronger treatment. What are the symptoms or signs of acid reflux? So the first and most common is a burning or pain sensation in your chest. It's often located near the heart, so people panic and think it's a heart thing, but really it's not. The next is feeling bloated or full, and um, this can happen often. You most often will feel it about 10 to 15 minutes after you finished eating. You may also find that you burp frequently and you feel sick, sometimes you will end up bringing up food. The causes of heartburn are most commonly due to either overeating or hormones related to pregnancy. The hormones relaxin and progesterone are needed for a healthy pregnancy, but this kind of relaxes everything in your body, including that GI sphincter that I mentioned before. When that sphincter is loose, it allows for the acid to come up, creating that burning feeling. Now, stomach acid can irritate the tube going down to the stomach or the esophagus, and it can cause a burning sensation. Now, in addition to this, the uterus, which is where your baby is living, gets bigger and pushes up on the stomach, helping the acid to go up further and thus creating the acid reflux. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get our latest content. So there are some homeopathic treatments that you can use to help with your acid reflux. The first is warm milk. So milk helps to calm down acid in the stomach. And if you add a teaspoon of honey to that warm milk, it works even better. Chewing sugarless gum throughout the day helps to increase digestion, which can reduce your risk of heartburn and acid reflux. Eating any kind of papaya, fresh papaya, dried papaya, or freeze-dried papaya can help with acid reflux. And finally, if you eat one to three almonds after every meal, this can help reduce the acid that you have in your stomach. There are many medications that you can use for your heartburn. We start with the most basic, like Tums, Maalox, or Mylanta, which can all be found over the counter. But you can't just use these without talking to your doctor. The reason why is there's many different versions of these three brands. Some contain aluminum or aspirin, and these are not safe for pregnancy. So if you feel the need to use a medication, please be sure to ask your doctor first. Now, if your heartburn is a little bit more intense, your doctor may recommend a proton pump inhibitor such as Nexium or Prilosec or a histamine II blocker such as Zantac. Now, again, 
You may find some of these over the counter, but you need to speak with your healthcare provider first. You cannot take antacids at the same time as certain medications because it will interfere with their absorption. So your doctor needs to tell you what is safe for your pregnancy and what time you should be taking these medications. From a diet perspective, there are a few things that you can do to help prevent acid reflux. For starters, eat small meals and snacks throughout the day instead of three big meals. This can go a long way to preventing acid reflux. When you do eat, you want to chew slowly. This helps you to make sure you're chewing the food and getting really small particles into the stomach which are easier to digest, but it also allows you to figure out when you're full faster so you don't overeat. Don't eat or drink too much together. In fact, for a lot of people, it's best to eat and drink separately to avoid overfilling the stomach. Avoid trigger foods such as chocolate, caffeine, spicy food, mints, and citrus. And of course, anything that might trigger you specifically. And you wanna make sure that you finish eating two hours before laying down to go to bed. There are a couple changes that you can make to your lifestyle to help reduce heartburn and acid reflux. First, if you're smoking, quit smoking. Quit smoking helps to loosen up that sphincter that I was talking about earlier, making it easier for acid reflux. You wanna wear loose clothing. Tight clothing around the belly can actually induce the acid coming up through the esophagus. Make sure you have good posture and bend at your knees when you're picking stuff up off the ground. When we bend over, we put pressure on the stomach, which can increase the risk. Practice relaxation, massage, yoga, acupuncture, anything that helps you relax in general. Walking after you eat can help promote digestion and sleeping on your left side while using pillows can help for nighttime heartburn. And finally, also for nighttime heartburn, Try to have the head of the bed elevated just a little bit while you're sleeping. This helps to keep everything down in the stomach. Some people take their heartburn for granted. They think it's very mild and they don't need to say anything, but there are times you need to talk to your healthcare provider. For starters, if you're taking lots and lots of medication over the counter, you need to speak with them. If you start vomiting blood or have black stools, black stool is a sign of bleeding, you need to let them know. If you're losing weight, if swallowing is painful or difficult, or if you have pain that does not go away with medicine. So let me be clear, pain that does not go away with medicine could be a sign of a life-threatening condition called preeclampsia, which has nothing to do with heartburn. I hope this video has given you everything you need to know about acid reflux during your pregnancy and how to handle it. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get the latest information on pregnancy, labor, and early childhood parenting. Share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.